Well, first of all, Annie, um, I think these are good questions. Criminal defense attorney out of San Diego. I, the idea that he moved so quickly for guardianship, before anybody knew what happened, he and his older brother, reportedly, who was not even in the area. So let's, you know, the, the older brother is not implicated. I want to stress that. But he moves very quickly for guardianship over the estate and over the kids, including the one cops say he paralyzed and the one he shot at, allegedly. Right. I mean, this case is extremely baffling to me, too, Jane. And, and your caller raises a good point. Is there a history of medical mental illness? Because in my experience, people just don't wake up one day and decide, I'm going to shoot up my whole family. I mean, I want to know, were there some red flags before? Was there a history of mental illness? And un unfortunately, this case really reminds me of the Menendez brothers. I'm not saying that the parents here were abusive. I'm not saying that at all. But if we're talking about possible motive or ulterior motives here, is there a possibility that there was some sort of abuse from the parents? I mean, these are very important questions that remain to be answered, and I'd, I'd like to know some answers before I rush to any judgment.